I'm Randy Hagen, and it's my privilege to be your instructor for Total Training's InDesign CS6 Essentials course. I've been working with InDesign since it was first introduced in 1999, and with other digital page layout programs since the mid-1980s. Today, I have my own training and consulting practice, and I do presentations and training for Adobe Systems as one of the original members of its Adobe Professionals consulting group. Over all that time, I've learned a lot about InDesign, not because I'm necessarily Rhodes Scholar Bright, but because I've figured out just about every way you can screw up with it. Our goal with this course is to help you avoid some of those costly lessons and get you up to speed working with Adobe InDesign quickly and efficiently. Let's get busy and get started with the first chapter of Total Trainings InDesign CS6 Essentials course. When you first open Adobe InDesign CS6, you'll see this dialog box in the center of your desktop known as the welcome screen. To the upper left of the welcome screen, you'll see a folder that you can click to select the open a file dialog box. Beneath that, InDesign CS6 would allow you to select up to 10 files you've previously opened within the program. But since this is the first time we've opened InDesign, we don't have any previous files to choose from yet. Down to the lower left, there are links to open specific sections of your InDesign help file. It's loaded by default when you install InDesign CS6, but it also shows links where you can view an online version of your help files through your web browser. To the upper right, you have three icons for creating a new InDesign document file, an InDesign book, which is a collection of individual InDesign documents, or an InDesign library, where you can store graphics and text elements, alone or in combinations of multiple elements for regular use, dragging and dropping content that you'll be using regularly within InDesign. In the middle of the right-hand side, you'll see a series of online links to InDesign community resources like user forums where you can ask questions about InDesign. These forums are viewed by experienced users and Adobe experts who can help you with your problems, but you'll need to be able to get online with your computer to use these links. By default, this welcome screen dialog box shows in your application desktop whenever there isn't an InDesign document file open. You may find, as you're first getting up to speed with the program, that these links can be very handy for learning more about InDesign and working with the program. If you find that's not the case, all you have to do is select the Don't Show Again checkbox down to the bottom left of the dialog box, and then click the X button all the way at the top right of the welcome screen. Now, this doesn't kill the dialog box, it just hides it. If you want to get it back, just select the Help Welcome Screen menu command and it'll appear again right in the middle of your application window. For this total training class, we'll deselect that Don't Show Again checkbox to return to the default setting. And for right now, let's click the X button at the top right of the Welcome Screen to close it. Now, I'm demonstrating this on a Windows PC, so Everything we do within InDesign is contained inside this application window. If I was demonstrating this on a Mac, as I'll be doing on alternating chapters of this InDesign course, the menu commands would be at the very top, just as they are right here, and the rest of the command and function bars would be floating along the edges of the Mac desktop, arranged just like they are now inside our Windows PC application window. Another unique feature of using InDesign CS6 on the Windows platform can be illustrated by holding down the Alt key and letting up on it. That's the key right next to the space bar. If you do that, you'll notice that underlines appear for each command in the menu bar. If I press, for example, the Alt F key, the file pull down menu will drop down. This works not just with InDesign, but with any Adobe application, or most any application for that matter, on the Windows platform. With the exception of moving your cursor around like this, most any command can be accessed by keyboard shortcut 
as well as by clicking on it with the mouse. As we look at that file pull down menu, we'll see that a number of these commands have keyboard shortcuts that are listed on the right side of the menu. You don't have to memorize these keyboard shortcuts now. If you do something regularly with InDesign, you'll likely be motivated to learn the right keyboard shortcuts to help speed you along, since most people will be faster using both keyboard and the mouse with InDesign CS6 than they'll ever be using just the mouse alone. Use your mouse to select the File, New, Document menu command. The keyboard shortcut for this menu command is Control N, the Command N keyboard shortcut on the Mac. Keyboard shortcuts are virtually identical on the Mac and PC, as we'll be demonstrating throughout this InDesign course. You'll also note on our Total Training class window, there are three dots or ellipses after the document command. That means that more options are available to you with InDesign when you click on that command. 